What is going on guys, Joe here, back again with my Santos Tour Down Under playthrough here on Pro Cycling Manager and today we have stage four uh, and it's kind of a hilly start, it's almost a small mountain I would call it, uh, a few small hills throughout and then there's a really steep short punchy hill uh, right at the end of the stage before a downhill finish. Uh, Favourites for today, Peter Sagan, Elia Viviani uh, and Michael Woods. I'm not sure about Viviani to be honest. I think this stage will be more for a pure puncher. Sagan, Woods uh, and maybe even Daryl Limpy has a chance. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'll see you on the start line. Right, here we are guys on the start line for stage four of the Santos Tour Down Under. Uh, let's get all of our guys in the peloton near the front. We we'll have to do it like this. Here we are, all the guys at the front of the peloton. Um, I'm also going to actually try and go in the breakaway with Cam Meyer. So let's get him towards the front. Let's get him attacking on this climb already. Here we go. Unfortunately, Daryl Limpy's on a bad day today. Uh, minus two um, on a stage that really suits him, which is really frustrating. Uh, oh, well, we'll, ha we'll have to uh, get him through the stage, but I doubt... Mm, that final hill would have really suited MP, which is a real shame, but oh well, hopefully we can still do some damage there with Daryl MP. So about halfway up this first climb, it doesn't look like the peloton want this break to go away. Uh, they're riding pretty hard. There's Bora riding at the front. Uh, I'm sure that's for Peter Sagan. Scotson's trying to join the break. A group of four here and Cam Meyer is in the group of three at the front, which Cantor is struggling to hold on to actually. Um, let's see if we can stay in the break with Cam Meyer here. 130 on the peloton, it looks like we'll be able to for the moment. So we're fairly close to approaching the first intermediate sprint. Seven riders still out front here, Cam Meyer is part of that group. Um, two riders are about to be swallowed up by the peloton, that's Cantor and Scotson who couldn't keep up with the pace. Uh, one rider off the back of the peloton, of course it is Morexo. Um, so yeah, five kilometers to go to the first intermediate sprint. We're going to try and win this with Cam Meyer here. There's actually no one with points in the sprint, in the breakaway. Uh, so we have a chance here to gain some ground in the competition with Meyer. So just under two kilometers to go now to the sprint. Bevin is probably the best sprinter in the breakaway. Let's slowly increase increase the pre increase the pace. Here we go with Meyer. Let's sprint now. Can we take it? Vincent behind Hamilton. And it doesn't look like anyone else is going to go for it apart from these three. Um, so we take it with Meyer ahead of Vincent and Hamilton. Uh, good result there. Let's try and win the second one as well. So we are approaching five kilometers to go before the second intermediate and final intermediate sprint of the stage. Um, 1 minute 40 back to the peloton from the breakaway. Meyer is struggling slightly. The pace is really high in the peloton. They don't want this break going away. Um, but we're just going to try and stay long enough for this sprint, which it looks like we're going to do fairly comfortably. So three kilometers to go now. Bevin will be the favorite again. I'm not sure if he'll go for it though. Only three riders went for the sprint last time. Um, let's try and win it. Let's up the pace here now with Meyer. Two kilometers to go. One and a half. Now let's launch it now. Here we go. Can we take the points again with Meyer? It looks like we will fairly comfortably. I think Vincent is trying to compete as well as Hamilton. Um, we take the points there with Meyer. Two wins. And that moves us up to fifth in the competition. Ten points there with Cameron Meyer. And following that sprint, it looks like Hamilton can't actually follow the rest of the breakaway. Um, maybe if he's caught, the peloton will let the rest of the break uh, slightly further ahead. I doubt it somewhat though, to be honest. So a few guys can't live with the pace in the breakaway. Simon Davis has dropped out now. He's joined Hamilton out the back of the breakaway. Strakov is struggling to keep up and we're almost done with Meyer. We might as well pop that energy gel now, to be honest. Strakov is off the back now for Katusha. Just over 50 kilometers to go in the stage. Pat Bevin attacks the other two breakaways. Uh, we're just going to let Boro carry us, to be honest. We're not going to try and do any work. We're basically done already and there's not much point as the peloton is just 45 seconds behind us. Uh, so the breakaway doesn't really have a chance today. Boro's done, so let's just get swallowed up by the peloton. Bevin, for the second stage in a row, is going to go for a solo ride to the finish. So 44 kilometers to go. Maya and Boro are the final two riders apart from Bevin swallowed up by the peloton. Bevin has 1 minute 12 to try and hold on to. He's struggling already though by his body language, so it looks like this will come down to a mass, mass punch over that hill. 
So 28 kilometers to go to the finish and Bevin is finally reeled in by the peloton. Uh, he's done for the day. So there's been a full 19 kilometers to go. Um, I can't see any massive riders here. Let's take a quick look. Um, it doesn't look like there's any favorites here. Uh, all favorites have avoided falling. So 15 kilometers to go in today's stage. We'll try and stick with it from here to the end. Um, we've got a little train forming at the front of the peloton. Heyman's going to do some early work here. Hopefully I can execute this a lot better than the last few stages. Um, downhill now we're just coming up to and then it's the punch to that short but steep hill. So let's let's uh, let's put Heyman to maintain position and Durbridge can now lead the attack although Hepburn seems to be struggling to follow for some reason. Um, can he catch him? Hoping he can. Here we go, we're at the front of the peloton, Impy's in a fairly good position here. Let's use a few energy gels now. Just under, just over 10 kilometers to go. Here we are, under the 10 kilometer banner, Durbridge leads Mitchton Scott to the front of the peloton. We're looking in great position here with nine kilometers to go. Let's up the pace a bit more around these corners as we enter, as we, as we just get to the hill. Hepburn will now up the pace for Mitchton Scott. Durbridge is done, he's done well. 99, let's try and push the pace here. Can Is anyone going to attack? Not yet, it seems. We don't want to push the pace too much because obviously Impey's not on his best day. So let's put Hepburn now to maintain position. Hamilton, 95. Woods and Sagan attack. Here we are, we have to respond to this now. Hamilton tries. Oh, he needs to try his best to stay with them here. Edmondson now will do his best. 99 for Impey. Have they got away again, those two guys? Impy now has to attack by himself. Everyone else is done. Can he keep with Sagan and Woods on the downhill now? Five kilometers to go. We have to just attack really here. Let's pause it. We've got a train. We can we can uh, put Edmondson behind Hamilton who can attack. Um, and then Impy can follow those two. Hopefully to catch Sagan and Woods who look like they've got away yet again for the second stage in a row. Hamilton attacks. Does he have good downhill? 65, not really. Let's go to Edmondson to sprint now on the downhill. Just two and a half kilometers to go. Woods and Sagan are looking good for the stage. Can anyone else get close to them? Just coming up to one kilometer to go now. Impy can sprint. Is it too late to catch Sagan and Woods? Round the final corner and Peter Sagan wins for the third stage in a row in Australia. Michael Woods second. Edmonton will actually take third. Impey fifth. Hamilton seventh. So third, fifth and seventh for the Mitchelton Scott guys. And it's basically a repeat of stage three. Sagan and Woods can't, they attack the field at the end of the final climb and no one else can recover that gap for the finish line. So Peter Sagan on the top step of the podium for the third stage in a row, would you believe it? And Woods second as well, yet again for him here. Two heartbreaking losses from Woods to Sagan. So Sagan extends his lead in the leader's jersey to 18 seconds. Woods in second and Caleb Ewan in third now. Impy I think drops to fourth, 22 seconds behind Sagan, but still eight second gap to the rest of the GC contenders there. The Dagnu maintains that mountain jersey. He looks like he's got that secured almost. Woods second though with 16 points. Our best rider is MP on 8 points in 5th spot there. So the point standings, Le Dagnu holds that still but only 1 point ahead of Peter Sagan now. Our best rider is Cameron Meyer now on 10 points. And Caleb Ewan yet again holds on to that white jersey. The best young rider now by 2.5 minutes. And Mitchelton Scott actually the leader of the team classification. So there it is guys, have you just watched a repeat of stage 3? I'm not sure to be honest, Sagan and Woods jumped the field. Again they got no time gap which I'm a bit annoyed by to be honest, they should have got a time gap for definitely the last stage and probably this stage as well. Um, only 22 guys finished on the leader's time, let's see if anyone dropped time, Latour perhaps a surprise, uh, George Bennett as well, so there are some leaders here who've dropped time. Um, which means which can only be positive for our leader Daryl Impey. Impey now in fourth and only 12 riders really with on the leader's time. Um, yeah, Latour and Bennett, I'm really surprised they've dropped time actually. So taking a look ahead to stage five, it is the final one for the sprinters. Viviani Sagan and Caleb Ewan, of course, the three favourites, the trio of world-class sprinters here at this tour. 
Uh, we'll be doing everything for Daryl MP yet again. Hopefully we can get him his stage win. I think he's been in the top five of every stage, if I'm not mistaken, so far. Um, but I don't think we've had a better position than third. So it's been third to fifth every finishing position for MP so far in all four stages. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can change that and go a few better on stage five. So guys, if you enjoyed, leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.